Okay. Let's get this over this way. Bum, 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 bum. Hey, why don't you flip over there for me? Thank you. And we should be live. We are live. And my phone says so. That's always good. Okay. So, one thing for sure. Let's get that out of the way. All right, well, I'm not going to start until I start getting some people in here. Uh, but I want to talk about a few things. And today we're going to repair this gigabyte board that was donated to me. And you'll see that uh, the caps right here are bad. Right here, 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 and here. So we have five capacitors that are blown. Now this is kind of a common thing from the era, but uh, I figured I would do this live. I'm just going to take off my piece here. I actually got a brand new uh, soldering station for doing my live shows. And the reason for that is, well, I'll show it to you. The reason for that is because, uh, one, it's small, it's compact, I can have my... Uh, heater and I can have my iron right here again tiny and compact out of the way and I don't have to worry about um, space because my other one is about oh five to ten times bigger so um, guys if you're in and you're watching then please you know don't, I, I gotta well there we go someone's doing it say hi whoever you are <laughs> Um, so when you're doing this, one of course, a few things, it's always nice to, uh, you know, keep original old hardware going. And this, I, I'm a Gigabyte fan, so this board had to be fixed. Mainly because, well, I'm a Gigabyte fan, and I'm an AMD fan, so this is both worlds in one shot. And again, it was donated to me, so I'm going to fix it and make things better. Oh, I friggin' should have got some water for there, huh? Keep forgetting that every time. Water on your sponge. Water on your sponge. I don't think I have any water in here. So, a couple things I'm going to be doing today that is new. Uh, one is I will be testing my new desoldering iron. Um, it's not a vacuum. Like, I mean, it has a vacuum. But the vacuum is like this. And then it heats up with the hole here. And that will uh, suck up the solder. Now, it's always nice to have something like this. I've never actually had a desoldering iron. I always just use the, the plunger style um, remover. But it is what it is. And today, of course, let me just adjust some microphone stuff here. Today, we're going to, uh, you know, basically get this done and out in the way so we, one thing i need to do of course is get my new iron plugged into the new housing if without that ain't going anywhere so i still gotta plug that in i didn't plug it in yet just to be safe i never know what's gonna happen with uh eh, i'm just gonna say foreign parts you never know what is up and i just want to make sure that it is safe so I'm going to say that's the solder side. It's pin keyed, so there's no worry about uh, putting it on wrong. That's for sure. Whoops. Nobody wants to chat in here? That's not very nice. I'll say hi. 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 All right. So that's there. So this will be the first time using this iron. This iron is not much different. This is identical to my big one. So um, it's not like it's new to me. That iron there is, uh, even this company, they they just put a new sticker here, 8586 that you see on these. That's just the same standard number you'll see on every single brand name of it that looks like it because it'll actually be the same. It's really, really, really used by a lot of people. All right. So when you're doing this, of course, we're going to want to do it from this side. And I'm going to have to locate the capacitors on the other side and find it on this side so we know one's right here 
so one will be right here and so on so that's what we got to do we got to kind of you know and then you'll look over and you'll see that that one and that one for example and you, i mean it's not a big deal if you unsolder something else and you put it back in but it's highly recommended not to i also noticed that they didn't use a capacitor here or here now i'm not sure i'm guessing if i put something in there of course it'll be a bad thing but i'm I, i'm guessing it's because it doesn't have the secondary power on the board it's just the the 120 pin so being that maybe it didn't need maybe it wasn't it wasn't meant for high power draws and of course it's never going to be so i did <laughs> now you guys want to laugh i'll see if i can find them there we are i'm going to need some arctic arctica check this out so when i first ordered capacitors I'm not kidding. I paid $25 Canadian for these. You want an idea how big that is? That's ridiculous. You want a real idea how big that is? I'll even zoom in on that. That's just absolutely... Oh, wrong way. Look at the size. This is what they sent me. I'm like... How's that going to fit on my board? <laughs> I wouldn't even get the heat sink back on. That is what they sent me. And I'm like, this is just absolutely ridiculous. So be careful. That was Amazon. Okay. That was Amazon. Now I'm going to go to, uh, I went then to AliExpress. That's why I waited a little while for it. But literally I waited maybe about a week or so. And that was the one thing I forgot to pick and put on this bench before I started this. Because now i got to figure out where I put them. Just give me one sec there, guys. I'll uh, find them. Oh, and just a quick heads up, guys. Whenever you're on Amazon, check the Amazon warehouse. Inspected by whatever. I don't care. i got to test it and make sure that it's actually good. But this is a PCI ribbon cable that you would use to move your video card reason why i say that is check the warehouse a lot because these were 60 bucks and i paid 20 delivered yeah 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 where did i put them am i dumb 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 oh there you are all right and then there's these <laughs> you know um about the same size, I guess. I'm, we'll, I'll find out in just a second. So we're going to zoom out here because that's just ridiculous. You guys are going to be limited on what you see. I'm sure you want to see me break something. So I need five. So I ordered two packs of five. And honestly, I think I paid two, three bucks for five versus the $25 for that monstrosity. Like seriously, look at that. Somebody was smoking crack or something when they decided that was... It's the same rating. They are actually correct. They're just wrong <laughs> in so many ways. Need to say I left that supplier a bad review because giant size capacitors are not what we're looking for here. Um, so a couple things we're also going to need. I kept forgetting because I keep forgetting. I haven't done this kind of stuff in so long. Break it, break it, break it. No, that is a terrible idea. Okay, so now we're looking at caps that are, oh my God, the same size. Not monster. So, uh, of course, you got to always keep in mind your negative and your positive. Because when you take these out, uh, you want to put them back in the way they're supposed to come out. Like that would be a real bad thing. And if you're unsure, there is a marking on the board. And I'm trying to see it on. So here's the... Uh, negative strip here and i'm guessing if we take this off the white is over here yeah so the white would be so the white technically is where that strip goes just so you're safe but like i said always look at your board make sure god only knows if someone changed it around on you and you don't know that would not be really cool so for now what we're going to plug in we're going to plug in this new guy and god i hope it works because if it don't, I'm going to be doing this the old way. All right, so let's plug this in. Luckily, I have a plug put right here. 
There we go. We're going to let that heat up. Now, weirdly about this, they didn't give me a place to put it. So I'm just going to put it here. Um, okay, so I'm just going to grab a pair of pliers and some side cutters. Hey, Daedalus, what's up? Red Fox, I'm glad you guys are here. Um, I've been having people coming in and out by the look of it, and they just keep disappearing. I don't know. Um, John wants to say everything's okay. He just wanted to let you guys know that. I'm actually on my uh, CBD oil now. Started yesterday. Um, so, yeah, I'm, I'm trying to see what it's like, you know, to hopefully not have as much pain. And uh, hopefully uh, that works out. Please don't be burning anything. Smells burning. Smells burning. Burning in the kitchen. All right, I'm just going to grab my side and my pliers. I'm going to go with some wide pliers. <laughs> and then my trusty side cutters. It's just so that you clean up your mess underneath. Okay, so this should be getting there. It's heating up, so it's a good sign that it works. Um, now, again, we're going to find out what is what here. So I'm going to desolder this one. And this one. So if I look at it, that one right there. And these two right here in kind of a crappy spot, actually. Let's find out how this works. Well, that didn't help. Oh, no, it did go up. It's just very quiet. Hey, beat down, what's up? I feel that um, they're doing that we don't like you thing and they're making all my viewers look like not viewers. It, it seems to happen a lot. I'm just going to try and put that back in there again without burning anything. Did that work or did I have to do more? No. So... Again, I'm just getting used to this guy because it's my first time ever using it. So I'll just, woo, don't touch the sides, guys. Don't touch the sides. Bad idea. I'm full of bad ideas. Let's see if I can get it to... Hey. Missed all you guys. Sorry I've been not able to be around so much. Oh, that looked like that worked. Um, It's just that... Again, like I said, I finally started my CBD yesterday. It's helping me. I'm a little shaky still. Uh, it's helping me out a bit, but I'm not going to say great yet. But then it's only been the second day. All right, let's see if that came out. No, that sucks. Maybe I'm just going to have to touch it. I heard it go. <laughs> Do not lick the tip. Okay. All right. Good. Uh, good talk. I wouldn't lick the tip of this either. All right. First one's out. Now you guys can see what I'm talking about up close and personal. So when you're looking at a cap. Okay, uh, you might look at this one and say, well, it's not leaking. Okay, it doesn't look like it's leaking. But if you look on the side, you'll see it's bulged. And it's about to pop. So this cap is no good regardless of what we think. So that is something very important to know. Now we're going to take the new cap. Because I might as well... Or maybe I should wait. Because that means turning on the other iron. I don't really want to have two irons on at the same time. And I don't think I need to tell you why, but I'm melting my thing here. This did not come with a stand. 
That I find really weird. Or it did, and I lost it. Nope, I'm pretty sure. Oh, wait a minute. Nope, that pops out. So this can actually come out of here. That's pretty neat. All right, let's just get rid of the other caps, and then we'll we'll do her up. We'll do her up. We'll just lay that there. Um, so this one is this one. I'm gonna watch my fingers here because I'm part of me wants to just touch it, <laughs> and like I'm shaky, so it's like let's just touch it. And I'm like, oh, wait a minute, that's a bad idea. Never ever plunge your plunger down while you're over your board because solder can fall out. In this case, it's probably kind of hard, but it can. And then land on your board and cross something. So that's just a tip. A tip from the game hunter. Now, again, I don't like how... And this is here to, you know, unclog it type thing. Um, I just don't like how this doesn't have a... Well, maybe I can do that. Stay. Nope. Stay. Hmm. I'm going to buy one of those uh, ones with the vacuum built in sometime soon. Because I need it. I mean, that's just not cool. Alright, that one came. Let's get this other one. <laughs> Takes me a second. <laughs> Uh, can't, oh, uh, that last couple live streams, oh, no, no, I lost my fur baby, oh, a dog, or, sorry to hear that, dude, I mean, I wouldn't know what to do if, if, uh, I lost my bullet, why won't you let go? There it goes. Alright, and then this one here was a little worse than the other one. Okay, I don't know if you're seeing it the way I do, but it is bulged. Ah, uh, Bandit. Oh, Bullet would have loved that dog named Bandit. Ah, oh, that's sorry. I'm very sorry. Uh, my dog is a King Shepherd and he's my best friend, so I understand completely. I really do. Um, nobody needs to go through that. And that's something that worries me. He's only two right now, so I know I don't have to worry about it yet. But, I don't know. Part of me is like, he's never going to die. Or, I want to die before him or something. It just doesn't... Uh, it just won't feel right if uh, I have to, you know, deal with it. I, I, I don't know. It's kind of sad. Anyway, Bandit. I uh, Or, Beatdown, sorry. Uh, Bandit, rest in peace. And, uh, Beatdown. I am very sorry for your loss, man. That's That's not cool. So I got two more here. Let's see if I can guesstimate them. Let's say it's that one and that one. All right. So let's try that. So we're... Sorry if I'm not getting it in video proper here. <laughs> now I got to remember what I just did. This one and this one. Yep. Again, it's not, you know, crazy to guess, but it's always... A, you know, a great idea to guess where they are. Oh. And also watch out, like I can smell the solder on this. It's disgusting. It is disgusting. But you're also going to smell like the um, board because you're now burning into its plastic coating. Yeah, guys, my hands aren't as steady as they used to be. So when I'm doing this, it's... Uh... Oh, what the heck? And where the heck am I now? Oh, that's the wrong one, bro. Huh, I think that was the wrong one. These two. Definitely the wrong one. Gonna have to make sure I put solder back on that. Woo! 
That got hot. Looks like we found you a girl. Wow, that's nice. Looks like I should kick your ass out of here. This is where I miss John a little bit. So, John wanted you guys all to know that he's doing fine. He's on vacation right now with his wife. I just got to see them in their hotel room, so it's real. <laughs> and he's uh, enjoying when we're not. <laughs> Simple as that. Okay, guys, if you want a naked girl, I guess you go to whatever the hell that guy's advertising. God, I hope I got the right one. Oh, shit. Nope. Uh, I gotta pay attention here, guys. I gotta pay attention. So I'm removing this guy for no reason. I'll have to fix that. So I was working on the right one. I don't know what is going on with me. And that just proves that I'm a bit mental. Um, sorry. <laughs> Let's see if I can fix what I was doing. So just remind me, guys, if you don't see me uh, do that, I kind of need to replace uh, replace the solder on that. <laughs> John over there slacking. Yep, yep. Uh, give me a sec, guys. Uh, see, and this one here was starting to leak. I see a spot there at the corner. Um, I'm just going to get rid of this person. And report. Let's see. Let's re well, it's pornography because that's what it actually is. So, report. Okay. Worst part about this is. I think I got to do it for every single one of them. And I hope at some point it catches somebody or shuts somebody down because this is absolutely disgusting. There's no need for this kind of stuff to be uh, coming in here. Yes, I, I'm so sorry that um, it, it does end up quiet in your house for sure. Okay. All right, got thrown by the thought of naked girls. Yeah, me too. For a second there, I almost went to the page, you know. But I didn't. <laughs> yeah, that's one thing. My dog is absolutely noisy and sometimes annoying, but I wouldn't want to uh, get rid of him because of it. So what did I take out there? Oh, oh, that one fell out, guys. The one that I was working on was the right one before not this one this one needs to be fixed and i stupidly i burned myself too because i can feel the pain right here and this one was leaking but i guess it had fallen out i didn't have to pull on it so that's pretty cool so we got one more lock this one here and then we can put new ones in and we have a brand new board guys literally it'll be just like new now remember we tested this board in a live video there a little while ago so I know the board's good or I wouldn't be doing this but at the same time that means I would have just had to fix that old board wouldn't I um, there we go got it first try that time All right, and this one here. It was. I mean, they weren't. Uh, a couple of them were leaking, but they weren't like. This wasn't going to stop this machine from running. Let's put it that way. But at the same time, I don't like to take that chance. I'm just going to unplug this and get safe with it. Uh, I'm just going to try and lay it in this unit and see if it stays there. Is it better? Okay, so that should be safe there. Now we're going to fire up this new one, but I got to plug it in first. And I got to get some, uh, a little bit of water. 
What is this? Just use a hammer on it. Be a man. Um, something told me to, to not be a man. I really, it, it, you know, if it was a newer board. Oh, guys, we got some excitement coming. For starters, I had a chat with Be Quiet. And let me remind you, this video is brought to you by Be Quiet and Mano for the microphones. And what I have to say is, I had a chat with Be Quiet. Um, now, besides the NDNA I had, uh, which is now passed because the fans are late. Uh, they got locked up in logistics or something, so they never got to me in time. Um, we are going to build the Threadripper in the special case. Now, my big machine that you guys always seen in the back in the corner with all the water pipes and everything, that is called a Be Quiet 802. I think it's actually the best case that was ever made. And I'm not exaggerating. I never built in a case this good. So, it, and that being said, um, I asked him for another. And this time I asked for a white one. I haven't built in a white case in a long time. Just arrived. So we're going to be going ahead with the Threadripper build. And I now have two Threadrippers. So um, we're going to see how that goes. And I just got the board of my dreams for my Threadripper. Because I had to get everything I wanted that I wanted from the beginning when Threadrippers hit the market. This isn't just building for fun. This is building for what I couldn't afford and I wanted. Okay. I'm just going to go get some water. You guys chat. Be nice to each other. Be nice. you in buddy and everybody's watching i know i know all right with these sponges actually you don't need to put a lot of water i don't think people sometimes get that but they just puff right up with a tiny bit of water so this fits in here and not melting it like the other thing was doing now i'm going to plug that in because i still got to plug that in and uh we're going to test out my new station i hope it's really good I like the fact that it's all adjustable, and that's important to me. Now, where did I put that wire there? I know it came down. Oh, there it is. All right, so I'm just going to plug this right into the same spot the other one was. So I don't have to bend down and be unhappy. All right, so we got power. That's good news. Um, why is rework on? Okay, solder. All right. I guess the uh, switches were defaulted on, which is not good. Oh, you're having tacos for dinner? Bro, fajitas? Man, all you rich people, bro. All you rich people. You know what I had? A couple sandwiches I heated up in the microwave with some roast beef, Swiss, and ham with some a little bit of mayo. Heated it up first, then I put the mayo on. And boy, I gotta say, warming it up made it much better. It makes it gourmet. Alright. Let's get these capacitors fitted. Now something I like to do when I do this. Of course, keep in mind and remember. The stripe. And the stripe is going to go to the white. So let's see if these holes are clean. So if the holes aren't clean, they ain't going to help me too much, is it? That one is. That's what I'm hoping now. This, uh, this iron did everything for me. I don't have to come back and do it again. Um, that is a key. What else would be a key is if I could see. Eh, maybe that hole is just not ready. Let's see. Yeah, that hole's a little bit uh, wishy-washy. So let's try 
this one just to see what needs to be redone. That one too. Alright, let's try... This one here looks like it's good. When I put it up into the light anyway. Yeah, this one's good. I just want to show you what I do. So now we pull the cap down, right? So the cap's in place. Hold it nice and flat like that. And then I tend to go like this. Okay? Keep in mind the board's not on, so nothing bad's going to happen. Now we're going to clip that anyway. But the idea right now is to just have it nice and firm, locked in place, nice and tight. And in the end, you just want a really clean uh, setup, right? So what I'm going to have to do now, unfortunately, is I'm either going to have to fire up my desoldering iron, which I don't want to do. Moose stew? I made bread. Dude! Okay. You were... The fajitas and the, uh, the tacos or, or whatever it was, they're cool. But moose, I just can't do it. Uh, we're having COVID sucks. Can't breathe, congested, everything I eat tastes weird. Oh, well, I'm very sorry to hear that you got COVID, my friend. Uh, I didn't lose taste when I got it. Uh, I just uh, basically felt like a head cold. Or a head cold, or was it a stomach flu for me? Maybe it was, no, it was a stomach flu. Um, that's what it felt like. But I tested positive, so... You know, according to the tester, I was definitely... Alright, unfortunately, I'm going to have to... Let's see how this works. Okay. Moose stew just doesn't, yeah, doesn't sound right. It's kind of, you can tell he's Canadian. He's screwing up our whole Canadian thing. Stop screwing up our Canadian thing, eh? Eh? There's a little trick I learned. Let's see if it works today. So we're near the, boop, we're right here. I should not probably put my finger there. Is that it there? I think that's it right there. Oh. Hmm. Looks like I'm going to have to go get my solder sucker. I refuse to fire up the, um, uh, why, 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 why? I'll tell you why, because things hate me. And then it makes it hard for everything. <laughs> I got two like that so far. So, uh, three like that so far, because I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure this one is not good either. I should have actually, um, Check that. That's actually a rookie mistake right there. Gigabyte board. Yep. Yep. Definitely a gigabyte board. Uh, wouldn't have it any other way. <laughs> uh, this one was a donation to the channel, and I'm so happy that it was gigabyte. So that made me pretty... Oh, got in that one. Uh, that made me pretty happy. Again, you'll see me hold, flip, bang, bang. <laughs> okay, so... Now they look like they're installed and ready to rock and roll, basically. Um, I guess I'm going to fire this thing up again. So, how bad is it to have two irons on at the same time, guys? How bad? Can it be that bad? I guess I'm about to find out. If the podcast goes down. You guys know what happened. Just saying. Podcast goes out, you know what happened. Let's just let that heat up a bit, and then we'll clean that up. And uh, 
I guess technically we could spot solder these boys right here and have that done. So now the idea, the reason why I did this, notice I don't have to hold them. That's the problem. You got to hold them. I, I have no idea what breaker this is on, to be honest. So uh, my non-lead, I mean full of lead. <laughs> I say non-lead, full of lead. Yeah. All right. Let's see how... If I got this hot enough. It's at 410. I'm guessing it's got to be somewhat hot enough. So heat your spot. Ooh. Nice, clean solder joint. And that's what it's all about. See, and now, ooh, that's warm. And then I get to touch it and burn myself and say, mm, that's warm. All right, so let's get this one. So I'm working on a, a review, guys, for a rear view mirror. Mm-hmm. Weird, right? Well, not really, because it's got a full 4K screen. And reverse camera and 4K front and rear camera, so... I'm pretty actually kind of excited about it and why I'm excited about it is my older truck is an 08 my SUV for the dog it does not have rear camera funny the door I just bought does but I don't have the head unit for it so this company reached out to me and asked if I would do their uh, camera and I'm like what better timing so what you guys don't know is the last little while We've been, uh, oops, we've been working on this new door because this new door, I had to go to a wrecker and pick it up, was black. Well, my truck is gold. And one, I can't put a black door on a gold truck. And my wife said I can't put a black door on a white, on a gold truck. So either way, <laughs> I'm not allowed to put a black door on a gold truck. So it's already been sanded and primed. I'm just waiting to not be in so much pain again to uh, actually be able to go see you also want to check here make sure there's no rock really you're gonna have a little like your normal rock oh yeah we got to fix that guy remember that guy did I screw up another one I feel like I screwed up another one somewhere no well that one's got a no problem let's just uh, where was that rocky 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 Pretty sure that is this one. All right. So, reasons. Only reason why I'd have a backup camera is for attaching to trailers. Other than that, backup cams are no good. Um, I love the backup camera built in my Chrysler. I think it's awesome. And sometimes I drive in reverse just using it. And I mean drive. I mean go fast. You didn't hear me say that. That happens. Uh, where was this? Right here. Um, it does help in a neighborhood where there's a bunch of kids or little miniature stupid dogs running around. No offense if Bandit was little. Just not a big little dog fan. Um, I tend to find that they act too much bigger than they really are and it pisses my dog off. And that's just not fun for anybody. Because then they think my dog's this big monster. It wants to eat everything, which is kind of true. All right, so what I'm going to do this time, I'm going to flip it over this way so I can see the holes that aren't good. And see if I can. Yeah, see, I'm warping the socket there. It's too close. So I have no choice. I might be able to get it through now. This other one, I can't. That was this one, right? So any of you guys do your own repairs or have you guys uh, worked on an auto body or anything like that? My dad was an auto body man. So I kind of knew some of the things to do. The problem is, even with machines, I have a hard time. Seriously? Even with machines, I have a hard time... Um, 
doing the work because my body will just give up. And I know it's bad or so it sounds stupid, but it literally happens to me all the time. So I got to get these from this side. Please say that worked. Yeah, this isn't working out the way I wanted it to. So I'm going to do it my way. My way or the highway. I mean, technically, that's how it works. So here's what we're going to do. <laughs> we're going to put this near the hole or in the hole. And if it doesn't push through, I'm going to heat it to push through. That went through this time on that side. But it was the other side. It didn't work, right? Hold on, guys. I'm just going to... This is also a new add-on to my uh, studio. Is my um, overhead here. Oh, nope. <laughs> Thought it was going to go in, but it just ended up bending it instead. So a little trick to that, of course, is to heat up the other side and slip it in. And that one is actually now closed up. Great, great job, eh, for... Um, great job for uh, a desoldering iron to fill the hole. And it literally did the same thing there. Um, yeah. So it filled the hole here too. Or right here. So that's pretty sad. That is pretty sad. So this is where the fun comes in. This is where the fun comes in. So now I gotta find a hole. So you, I gotta literally hold the board like this. Find the hole, which is going to be this one right here. Put my iron to the hole. Try not to burn my finger. And try and put this in to that hole. I think something backfired right there. Or I'm just going to go get my sucker. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> ah, this blanket's getting on my nerves. Get that out of the way. So, guys, what I'm trying to show you there is what not to do, okay? So, when you're looking at this going, wow, that guy's mental, it's the what not to do. So, here's my normal way of doing things kind of sucks but it's efficient and it works that's going to be good the big one's going to be good for taking off bigger areas not these little tiny areas now if i had the vacuum in it this would be done by now right so unfortunately it doesn't have the vacuum so now you just lean it on the board like that pop that right over the hole done now that works. Let's find this one over here. Which ones are the bad ones? That one. So right here. See? Solder just fell out. That's why I say don't do it over your board. Did not work the way I wanted it that time. Nope, nope. Slipped and didn't get. All right. You got to be careful doing this, guys. I'm using... The reason why I'm letting the board lean on it, it's putting pressure on the hole. And when doing that, it's actually forcing the solder to melt and digging kind of into the board a bit, into the hole. 
wow, this guy wants to be a pain. So let's go from this side. Wow, that is very interesting. That hole does not want to clean up. Uh, I may have to solder it. And what I mean by that is put more, put solder back on it and then take it off. All right, that one's done. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to flip this over. This is another little trick. This one right here wants to be a pain. So I'm going to solder it. Sometimes it takes solder to get rid of solder. Did I do the right one? Yep. I should have my cleaner out, but I don't. Okay. Stay. This one just wants to go flying, eh? Uh, that's this one here. Pfft. You gotta be kidding me. <laughs> Still didn't work. Lead-free solder is the worst. This isn't lead-free, trust me. The solder on here might be, but the solder I'm using, uh-uh. I don't use lead-free solder. I know that's bad, especially for my health, but... Is it gonna be so problemed? Okay, okay, okay. We're gonna be two of us can play that game. Two of us can play that game. We're gonna go this way. And it is <laughs> it's funny because I gotta hold it up to find the hole. You got to be kidding me. I have a real solder sucker. It just doesn't work. <laughs> it's pretty bad when I unsolder or desolder something and the solder actually goes outward instead of where I sucked it. You would think it would go inward. Well, that's what I'm going to do now. I'm going to go... It's that one right there. No, sorry, this one. <laughs> Wouldn't it be funny? I was doing the wrong one the whole time. Let's wait for it to get softer. Maybe I'm just not waiting. Maybe I'm just impatient. That's ridiculous. Come on. I hate these cheap... Uh, the I, the machines are good, and then they give you the cheap, uh, you know, cable that isn't as nice as it should be. Never had so much trouble in my life. Honestly, look at all the... Filing's coming out. It's not like I'm not getting it. It's just not all coming out. Oh, it helps if I'm on the right spot too. The reason why I pulled that away fast is I'm trying to see if it's actually causing the hole to close. Alright, this isn't working the way I want it to be. So, not going to have much choice. 
I'm gonna have to just poke it through in a few minutes because it's getting on my nerves. And did this one get cleaned up? Oh no, I already replaced that one, that one. So that is the number three, uh, four and five. Okay, so for a break, I'm gonna put the ones I can put in in because it's driving me nuts. Make me feel like I'm getting a little more, uh, <laughs> you know, stuff done and not just sitting here getting mad at one little thing when I can just move on. I'm just going to have to re-solder it and clean it up again. Okay, so that's another one in. Make sure that you're putting your negatives proper or, well, bad things can happen. Things don't work. One of the two. Uh, unless you heat it. Yeah, I'm wondering. I'm going to heat it up higher. You're right. I'm going to try it. Uh, up. Let's go to 400. I think this thing does seven, seven and change. I'm at the point where I almost want to hook the blower up. The blower will blow it out of there. It's nice when they all just go in like that. Boop. Boop. Alright, so I'm just going to solder those because I'm down to that last one and I want to feel like I've accomplished something. Here I am like, where are they? Oh yeah, if I just find those stupid tracings or the big pieces. Always heat your area first. Try not to put too much solder. Because you want the solder to melt without any effort whatsoever. I feel like I need to put a little bit more on this part. And watch your tracings like I just didn't do. Alright. That's that one. And the other one's over there. All right, so now we're just down to that naughty one, which is right, where was it? Right, this one, right? Nope. Um, right here. So it's this one right here. No, it's actually this one, yeah. Wow, look how fast that went and melted that time. Again, this just could be a case of the iron wasn't hot enough, but we're going to find out in a minute. All right. So that went. Okay. So I'm just going to heat it from this side again. Uh, where's my plungy? Mr. Plungy, where are you? Oh, it liquefied quick. I mean... I'm at 420 technically. Oops, don't do that. Don't go marking the board up. Don't go spreading solder where it doesn't belong. Drill it. Not a bad idea. Holy cow, this thing just wants to be my enemy is what it wants to be. 420, make sure I'm not filling in the hole that is already good. I'm soon just going to heat it and push the wire through. Just heat the wire and push it through. That's another option. Because this is, I'm just frustrated that it's not doing it when I know that should happen. You know, like it's really getting under my skin. I'm going to buy the vacuum one, but the problem is they're extremely expensive. Oh, stupid me. 
This will be a little off camera, guys, sorry. But the solder has no choice but to fall. I think I was on the wrong coal. So let me get it on the right one. Sorry for the off camera, guys, sorry. But I think this is the only way I'm gonna get it. Sorry guys, if I'm quiet right now, I'm just trying to not curse and swear non-stop. Nobody needs a curse or swearer. I'm starting to feel like this one came from Radio Shack because it ain't doing its job. All right, that's it. It's just getting pushed through. Not enough of that. It will not clean the hole, guys. That is weird. I've never seen anything like that. That's been, I've seen stubborn, but this is beyond that. I gotta watch how I have an iron pointed at my chest. Um, oh, uh, Aztec, I did get your email. Um, it looks like you're about three and a half hours away from where I am, where you're going to be. Um, Nothing, my family can't cross border, only me, because they, uh, they don't have passports. Okay, so what I'm going to do again now, I'm going to try, no. Okay, I need something to hold the board. That's what I need, something to hold the board, or... All right. What's that? Those are those. And this is right here. Let the old machines I'm working on do the holding. All right, so that's the culprit right there. Let's see if I can do something about that culprit now that I can kind of see it. Yeah, guys, my hands are shaky today. Downside of me. See, now I broke the solder, No, no issues there. Here's my hope, hopeful trick. Get it there and have it stay. All right. Which 
one is it? It's this one. Not much light there. Yeah, guys, I've never, ever had to do this before. All right, that's not working. So next step is to heat up this piece and push it through. So it's the only other thought left is to do the, you know, like your soldering. Cap's going to get hot. <laughs> well, the cap's soldered. There we go. No, nope. fell out, but it's not what, how I wanted it anyway. I was just trying to make a bad joke. Sorry you guys aren't seeing what I'm seeing right now. Maybe if I go like this. There we go. Sort of see it. That guy right there is the culprit. That pain in the butt right there. It just... Oh, sorry. Am I doing... Yeah. Yeah. At least I... Pretty sure that's the right one. Yeah, it was spaced. Yeah, okay. I had to second guess myself there. So I was just doing the wrong one just then. So this would be this way. All right. I may have to put solder here to force it to go in. But I'm just gonna try heating up the the, the metal itself and uh, see if it gets hot enough to go down. When I start feeling the burn on my finger, I'm gonna guess we're pretty much there. Nope. I feel the burn on my finger. Wow. This is like the most stubborn thing ever. Do you have any solder wick? Help draw it out. I might. Alright. I'm going to do it a different way. <laughs> I keep saying that. Come on. Come on. Come on. You would think with the solder wet and everything that it would burn down below and it hasn't done it. Just don't know where my solder wick is. I have never in my life had to deal with such bullshit. The one, you know, there's always one, right? It's just like a uh, family. There's going to be that one A butt. That's going to mess the whole thing up. All right, I'm going to clip that a bit. Because of that rough end, that's going to make it hard to... Oh, wow. I guess I grabbed my old cutters and someone put a hole in them so they don't cut the spot as well. All right. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to put solder there again, but this time let it fall through. And then I'm going to throw the sucker underneath, even though I think the sucker is right here because I'm the idiot that keeps trying to make this work. Oh yeah, and I'm on the, <laughs> and I'm on my sucker too, right? So that makes sense. Um, so now I want to make sure I got it. So that's the one that's got the hole and that's the one that does not. All right. Let's hope for the best. So 
Sorry guys, I'm being a bit quiet. I'm just annoyed by this. I've never had to go through this much work to get a stupid cap changed. And I don't want to burn the board, so we're in a catch catch 22. I hate the fact that that board's heavy on that side. Ow! That hurt. I'm not going to lie. That hurt. Please. That had to have worked. Oh, come on. With all that pain and getting burned and everything. Yeah, it just pulls. So what it's doing, guys, just to be funny, um, let's pull this up a bit. So here it is here. This is that one spot, okay? So every time I solder, whether I'm pushing it out this way or the other way, all it does is pull it, and it stops. It just does not want to come out. And I find that really, really, really annoying. So... Oh wow, it really came out on this side though. So now, now I'm gonna have to try that. Maybe I'll have it this time. Maybe. So, on. Sorry guys, if I'm hitting the microphone. Don't want extra solder on here. It's gonna make it a mess. Just gonna try and let it sit for a little longer. Well, we have a bit of light, so. That's enough for me to try and do the push through. Finally, there's a bit of light. And I say that very, 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 very loosely. You guys can probably see what I'm seeing now. Um, where are we here? Right here. Oh, I'm not in it. There we go. See right there? Look at this bugger. So it decided that it's going to still, one way or another, stop me from putting the thing in. And the funny part about it is there is light now. So I'm going to try something. Hmm, not what I wanted. Let's see if this fits through these holes. That fits through these holes. So, can I do the same thing with this one? Did I just break it? Did that really happen, or am I just imagining that? Maybe I'm imagining that. If this goes through, it's definitely the right size. It's funny, because I'm just trying to find a light, and the light I had is, is uh, gone. <laughs> Man, I'm not having the best of luck with this. I still have... Oh, that's just trimming. I'll trim those so I don't forget. Wow, I'm going to have to possibly get my other clippers, or I'm actually completely not touching it, which is more real realistic.
So that's making it pretty dark up there, huh? Or is it lighting it up better? I don't know. Ah, what a pain, guys. What a pain. What a boring episode, eh? Ah. This stuff needs to be done, though. And if I don't do it with you guys, it's probably going to sit, right? So that's why I rely on you guys to keep me, keep me, uh, what do you call it? Um, legit. Hate to brag, but damn good. Damn, I'm good. Sometimes. This situation is not helping. So where were we again? Uh, Ram. So it's over here. Uh, yeah, right there. Oh yeah, look at that. It friggin' closed itself right back up again. I know this is going to hurt. That's not going to work either. The worst part is it's actually completely liquid. It just doesn't want to be my friend. Let me guess, it just bubbled up on the other side instead. <sighs> guys, you guys have any stories of frustrated crap like this? If you do, share it. It's driving me nuts. The other one clean, and I mean clean. Just this here. Guess I'm plugging in the solder sucker D thingy me giggy again and see what happens. Not much else going on, so let's give it a shot. It did clean them all up before, it just won't clean up this one. So I'm going to add solder. Give it something to really bite on to. There we go. Uh, yeah, guys, thanks for keep talking about the damn solder wick. I get it. It would be great if I, uh, if I had it, but I don't. You know why? Because I was poor. That's why. I was poor. The poorest people don't get to have that stuff. Alright, we're going to see if my plan is going to work now. Just need it to work once. I don't think this is hot enough to melt it yet. yet so I will send you some solder wick via Amazon <laughs> it's pretty bad isn't it I know I have like little spools of it somewhere um wait wait look I'm gonna laugh with the whole time it's here because there's my soldering I wonder if I should have used my rechargeable solder um there's the nope no everything there but where did i put my uh 
I clean them a jiggy ma jiggy. I know that sounds stupid, but there is a clean them a jiggy ma jiggy. I'm gonna use um I'm just gonna leave it here. I do like things doing the hard way, I think. Work harder, not smarter. <laughs> It uh, took some out, but it did not clean it up yet. I, you know what? This whole time, I wonder what would happen if I used two irons, one on one side, one on the other. It's just hard because I'm, oh, this board's getting hot. Let's try that. You gotta be kidding me. The board, I'm feeling the board hot down here. And it still hasn't uh, made a dent. It's cleaned it up, but it hasn't made a dent. Let's see here. You are a frustrating board. The most frustrating board in the world. You got us laughing out loud and rolling on the floor. Yeah. Any stranded copper wire will work in a pinch. Yeah, it's nice if you think you got that around. Oh, 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 are we getting a hole? No. It looked like it, but no. All right. I'm just going to leave it there for a few minutes and hopefully I don't burn the board. Try solder gun on the bottom. Well, that's what I'm doing now. It was, uh, oh, you mean flip the board over and do it that way. So that the board, so that everything is going down. Yeah, that makes sense. Sorry, guys, I don't mean to block what I'm doing. I see light at the end of the tunnel. I don't think it's enough yet, but I see light at the end of the tunnel. So we're going to try doing one more this way. But it definitely got a hole in it now. Headlamp on a coming train now. Boop. accidentally stopped it from going up fast and looks like it did exactly the opposite of what I wanted so what I did there guys is I actually hit the when I hit the button I had my finger on top of the plunger part and uh, it didn't have a chance to spring up proper I personally think this soldering iron thing is somewhat uh, the reviews were good I'm going to say no. Alright, I'm going to try pushing through. I'll use this first. Maybe I'll push through where the bigger part of the hole is. I don't like to do this because you could damage the uh, the tracings, but I'm trying to do it in a somewhat. Oh, wow, dude, that really don't want to be my friend. Okay, going to uh, phase ten, <laughs> which is going underneath um, the board. I just got to find the right hole. So I'm going to take this over here. Turn this like this so I can actually see. Guys, wish me luck because this is the final straw.
got to be kidding me. It's like it closed the hole up more. Just goes to tell me this stuff is garbage. I'll hold it there longer. Yeah, he's going in. Heat it up. Use an air can to blow it out fast. Uh, actually, it's funny you said that. For shits and giggles, I'm going to try your thing. Okay, but now that I have access to the bottom lid up, which I didn't do before, I'm going to use the other iron and the other crappy sucker <laughs> underneath. And the iron's going to heat it from the top. I mean, we're almost there. It, there is um, there is some light. There's, there's light at the end of the tunnel, guys. There's light at the end of the tunnel. It's pretty bad, eh? This one little tiny thing. Stopping the whole entire project. I'm holding it for a while. I don't know if I found the hole or not when I was doing that. Yeah, it was the wrong one. Or the wrong, on the other side, it's the wrong one. Kind of hard to tell which one it is down here now. It's not doing anything better, no matter how we do it. So I'm going to try this rod again from the top. I don't get it. This, is, this board's not made, meant to be fixed. It's like a complete disaster. Even when I heat up the, uh, the solder and try to push something through, it doesn't want to work. Those are in so nice now, and I fixed that guy, so thanks for not reminding me. <laughs> oh, this is a great video, yes, because of the failure. I 100%... Oh, God. Stupid. Let that fall. Look. It slipped. That was probably my fault because I had... Uh, yeah. Whew, that stinks. 
I had the other iron cord underneath the other one and popped it. Um, this is a real pain in the hoo-hoo. I wonder if I have very, very sharp tips. I don't know what came with this, but I know I have tips somewhere. Those are definitely not tips. But you know what, guys? Let's go to the blower. The heck with it. We'll shut down this. We're going to hook up the blower. We're going to hook up the blower. The blower is in the house. God only knows what else I'm going to melt, but yeah. I guess I better put a tip on it and focus it. <laughs> this is called being lazy and not trying to find my other tips. That's what that is. I'm cool with lazy. Very cool with lazy. Now, another thing I'm wondering about is a safety feature that these things are supposed to have. And that is when, oh, that's a little hot. When I put the blower in that holder, it's supposed to turn off. So I hope that is actual. All right. So I'm going to use the sucker still. All right. We're going to turn the blower on. Yeah, see, it's on. When I go like this. Oh. Maybe not. Or maybe I broke it melting a piece. Huh. Okay, my old one used to turn off when I put it in there. All right, I need a tip that's going to be narrow enough. So that's good to know. This is not very safe. Uh, <laughs> not very safe ish. Safer ish. Oh, I got to put the. Wow, nothing at all like my good one. Got to do all this weird, stupid screw thingies. Oh well, you got to do what you got to do. Come on. Wow, everything's a problem tonight. Everything. Even putting this together. You're going to reflow the board. Well, I'm just going to reflow that spot. That spot is, uh, has had it with me. That's, that's the spot's last shot. And, whoop, I just, uh, it just, it's enough. I want that out. And if it means reflowing, yeah. That's what it means. All right. But keep in mind, guys, I did put a small tip on, so I'm not trying to, you know, be stupid, like I meant when I'm touching that. Okay, so that tip is going to go right there. Let's fire this up. 350 should be enough, but let's go up. We'll put it at 400. Let's see how fast it gets to 400. Oh, it doesn't. How come the blow stopped? I don't know what that is. Temp off. Did I do something wrong? Okay, let's turn it off. Turn it back on. Maybe it's dead. Huh. Yeah, so it can blow through. Yeah, I will. Once I figure out why it uh, completely shut down. Rework. Unless the blow starts up again. It was running earlier when I first turned it on. 
So I'm having a hard time believing. Oh. Okay, so if it's out of the holder for a certain period of time, it seems like it uh, shuts down. So we're going to crank that up. Now it's pointing at my wall. I wonder how long that's going to be bad. SLP. I have no idea what SLP means. Is that the blower output? Oh. Why is it saying off? Hmm. I may have a problem with this. No. Go back over there. Yeah. So that's for rework. Let's make sure this is plugged in, right? I have to cradle it to turn it on. But that shouldn't be right. I should be cradling it to turn it off. That should be the safety feature. My other one, without the cradle, it won't turn off. super long play <laughs> all right I'll uh, I'll go with that it says it's off now it's back on that's freaking weird let's try oh now she's getting hot all right all right that's interesting making quite the interesting sound Is when I get it close to the uh, thing, it goes. I burnt myself a couple times tonight. It's getting there. Oh, it just stepped up. Come on. I'm starting to smell it now. So that means it's starting to work the solder. Yeah, it's the sound of me crying, that's for sure. Funny, I don't feel the hot on the other side. I'm starting to see a hole, though. Nice little tip on it. It's actually making me target the area. I don't know if 400 is going to be enough. Crank it up. Let's try 450. Now, is this to make it blow better? Yeah. All right. That's kind of nice. My other one doesn't have that. Or was it on the handle? Not sure. One point, yeah. Not sure if I'm getting more. Hey, yeah, 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 that's hot. Yeah, don't touch the metal parts of the board after. 
You know what the sad part is, guys? That hurt when I touched it, and I still haven't made the solder wet. Where's that thing? This is absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> Might go faster. Still not get it yet. Nope. I mean, if this doesn't get it, I'm lost. I don't want to damage the board. That's the problem. Wait a minute. Nope. Try it this way. I can't. I'm one of those people that just has to get finished. Or I'm going to lose my crap. Okay, I'm making it wet from a distance now. Oh, that's good. Got it. Got it. Should be good enough. Oh, that's what's going on. There's a piece of metal in there. This whole time. There was a piece of metal in there this whole time. Let's see if the cap fits through now. I've probably heated all the caps up on this board to the point where they're all going to go again. <laughs> that would suck. Yeah, it's not being my friend there, is it? Whew. All right, we're through. All right. Two weeks later. Two weeks later, or two hours, one of the two. Why won't you turn off? Turn off. Oh, you're not blowing too hard. Okay. All right. I just don't want to blow it at my wall. Yeah. Oh, there she goes off. And we're going to kill the system. Pow. Okay. <laughs> That's now, hopefully, out of our life. Oh, shoot. You know what happened? That was stupid. I do need my soldering iron, and I had turned it off for a while. So, yeah, that was kind of... Well, that, I ruined my... Well, didn't ruin it, but made it stinky. I hate this thing. <laughs> um, I like it, and I hate it. Um, it worked really well at first, 
And then it just got creepy. <clears throat> oh, sorry about that, guys. I uh, never had to battle something this bad before. <clears throat> oh, man. The smell and everything going up is starting to bug me. I will have some news for you guys soon about some ongoing stuff for years. I can't talk about it yet. Yeah, I didn't know this, uh, there was a pin in the solder hole. And that, I guess, must have been that little rounded poke that kept it moved, right? So it would make a little bump on each side. If I would have known that, I would have just took the, the my nippies and put them into place. And, you know, when it got warm, pull it right out. But I didn't know that was there because it was so short couldn't see it my my other Jeff is asking me what I'm doing and that means he doesn't pay attention ever uh, uh, repair There we go. Alright. So now what we're going to do is we're just going to finish this. And then we're finally done. So that makes me really, really, really happy. And then I'll uh, probably play a game. But I don't think I'll be going live because I'm, I'm tired and cranky. And this did not go as well as I hoped it would. Well... If I would have known about that, I'm sure I would have had this nailed a long time ago. And I should have thought about it. I've seen that happen more than once. It's not my, you know, first soldering rodeo or desoldering rodeo or anything. I've been doing this for years. Unfortunately, I didn't make it look like I was. All right. All right, so that means we can look forward to a long life for this board. I mean, as much as it's going to get used, right? Because I'm not going to turn this on as often as I would doing it any other time. Nothing like people watching make thing. Yeah, make challenge. It, it it's a watch make challenge slash. Oops. Toilet paper, the choice of cleaning. 17 years left, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Let's clean this crap up a bit. Uh, I don't know if you guys remember these XP processors, or this is actually a Duron in this one. When you wipe these, watch these pads. People wear them down when they're rubbing, and they actually F them up to the point where your cooler you got to be careful with the cooler on these um, a lot of people just go yay and nope that's not how this works so we're going to put some mx4 on this this is my only air cooled one so far don't know if it'll stay that way oh is this one this can't be empty i thought i just opened this one Okay. Could have sworn I just opened that one. Guess I didn't. Um, did I open another one? I don't remember. Let's go down to my inventory. You know what? I'm going to try for the fun of it. I know I got a bunch of MX4s. I ordered this to do a video. And I'm not sure I want to use it or not. But this is uh, Arctic Silver 5. 
You know what? I'm not going to use it. I'm going to just lay it up here and go to MX4. I mean, I know, I mean, I got piles of these that I buy um, because I need them all the time. Um, I know that deep down the Arctic Silver 5 is way more than enough for this, but the best out of the two are the four, so that's what I'm going to use. This stuff's never let me down. I'm just shocked that that tube's gone. I got about maybe three or four more tubes left. Because, you know, when you're doing, like, all these uh, builds, tear aparts, and so on, well, you tend to go through silver, or I still want all my builds and everything to be based on the same thermo compound I use all the time. And, uh, yeah, see, MX4 is better. It is better. Arctic Silver 5 was the best until this came out. Now, MX5 is supposed to be out, but I never seem to get my hands on it. And I want to see if it's actually better. Little tiny die. So there's no... Now, this is something I want to show you guys. Now, when you uh, see this chip... All the newer chips have a cover on them. Underneath is this. Okay? So you only have a chip or a chip or two. This is actually the ultimate cooling solution. Realistically. That doesn't mean that it wasn't a good idea because people would screw up their processor. Uh, yeah, fake. That sucks. But what I'm trying to get at is turn that off it doesn't need to be on um what i'm trying to get at is the uh compound uh or sorry the compound touching the spreader directly to the cooler is the best way to cool and people have taken the ipc off and actually just done that so it's kind of interesting i took john a computer into work from computer reset. Make sure you give him a hard time until he gets it done. John's all guns now, bro. He is totally off topic. He has gone to another world. Uh, I know he's still going to do stuff. And, and I know we talked and he said that it's because he doesn't get a lot of stuff coming in or, or for repair. And I'm like, what are you talking about repair? I just get stuff and, and I review it. Or I buy stuff and I review it. And then he was asking me too why... Uh, but people give him guns, not computer stuff. And I'm like, well, that's because your videos that are taking off are all gun-based. Um, it's hard to, you know, make one thing happy over the other when that's how it's going. Now, one neat thing too, when you look at these... There's a groove here, and that's because the step up right here, so the fan can only go on one way. And a, a little trick for these, everybody tries to play around with this stupid little thing right here to put it back on. Oh, hells no. So get it in place, get the one side on, which is still somewhat a pain. I remember these. They were never... Uh, Never the easiest coolers to mount. But at the same time, it's one of my favorite times in computers. There was so much going on in this era. And AMD were knocking it out of the ballpark. Even though these ran hot, which makes a bit of no sense. Anyway, a flat screwdriver. <laughs> yeah, you should bring one to Canada. That is correct. Canada knows how to take care of them. Oops. No, I'm the one doing it wrong. Over. Oops. Don't stab your board, guys. That was the biggest problem with this. Yeah, that was the biggest problem with this type of deal. People would stab their board. Oh, is it because that's trying to go on? I don't want that on yet. Come on, get in there. 
Get it in there. I think that's in. I think that's in. All right. Now the other side, there's actually a locking mechanism. So that can plug into that will go in here so you can't lose it on the board. Like it won't fall out. You can actually hook all you want. I never said I wouldn't meet you. I said, and my words were, you're about three, three and a half hours away from where I am. So there we go. It's even a brand new cooler. Woo! Well, semi, well, it's brand new. It's brand new for sure. And it's a StarTech, which is a good fan. So we know it's a good fan because they overprice everything. Um... Yeah, no, how, how can you bring me a computer? Hey, I didn't say you couldn't come into Canada, bro. I did not. It's just that I'm on the Messina border. And you're going to be... Literally, it's about three three hours, maybe three hours and ten minutes or something. It's set on my navigation. 1.7 hours for you and 1.7 hours for me. <laughs> that means me going into the States. Do they require... Uh, masks still so guys there's the bad ones they're gonna go straight to la la land um the key here was one we got a good laugh i don't know if you guys even seen that from the beginning the first caps that were sent to me were these same exact rating seriously How would I put those on the board? Like that is what they sent me. But there's still 3,300, and I think 16 volt or whatever it was. <laughs> I'm like, uh, no, no on Canada side. Why did you not put them in? Well, I mean, I'm sure the board would last a lot longer, but I'm gonna save them for something special. Where you actually have room. I paid $25 for these guys. I paid $2 and something cents for five of the other ones. So, AliExpress, baby. I can link those caps down below. So you don't have to go stupid and get these things from Amazon. That was a big no-go. Okay, so we did it. What a pain in the butt. If we only knew that there was a pin stuck in that one right here. We would have had this done a long time ago. Yeah, I might send them back. I gave the guy a bad review. I'm like, how can you have caps that are the, the ratings that any other cap that I order are this size? So why is yours like the size of my thumb? Like, it was ridiculous. That's awesome, guys. I just I embraced and, and fixed the best brand name in the world, Gigabyte. So... Now my old board to be playing and gaming on is the Gigabyte board, like my new ones. That makes me really happy. So this is the Duron. Again, nice thing about this one too, it does have the holes for me to do my custom water cooling. And that was something rare. That was something I couldn't find without an Asus board. And back in the day, of course, I used Asus boards. So it wasn't uncommon for me to, to continue with that board, but this is exactly exactly what I wanted and now I have it so I can't put a higher end processors in because I think the like the 2800s and stuff I think I have one um, they require the extra four pin so I don't think this board has enough power but it might I'd have to look up the specs and see how high it can go but I mean I could be wrong it possibly could go right on up there I don't think it'll do like a anything in the 3000 or 3100 area um, send them back. He thought you were working on a Whopper computer. Yeah, yeah. Unfortunately, this this is not a Whopper. But look at that. It looks brand new. I mean, this board technically is pretty un uh, uh, unused. I guess is a good word. It was used a bit. Um, and now it's here to to give more life. So, guys, thanks for tolerating that this video um i apologize that <laughs> it took you know half the video to get that hole cleared yeah jeff if you're watching buddy still that one spot right there 
if I would have known there was a little tiny pin in there that I couldn't see, I couldn't figure out why, it, for the life of me, with all my equipment, why I couldn't get that hole to be clean. And in the end, that did it. So, it's good to know that things happen. It is interesting, and you guys get to see the, like, there was no, you guys seen no movie magic you've seen live. You've seen me go through hell, and that you don't get to see behind the scenes. So, this is the fun part of this, and the not fun part of it, but it is the problem. What do you mean, no game over? It has to be game over, guys. I'm tired. I'm cranky. Um, I'm going to have to get back to working at some point. <laughs> and uh, I want to play for a bit, I think. I think uh, Jeff is wanting to play too. Aren't you, Jeff? Read above that. No game over. Oh, wait. War Games computer was called Whopper. Do you want to play a game? War Games, War Games computer. Um, I'm going to be playing some Fortnite with uh, my my other Jeff there. So I'm pretty sure that's where we're headed. I just need to go and use the washroom and be nice. How about a nice game of chess? <laughs> yeah, chess. It's, there's two ways to look at that. I look at that as in, are we going to go girl watching? But no, I like chess. Chess is a great game. All right, guys. Till next time. Uh, sure, I'm just installing fans in the O11D Evo while waiting. Interesting. I want to hear about those fans. Um, that's something I almost should have your cameras over your place just so you can record the things you buy too. That way we can have I can have much more content. <laughs> All right, um, guys, I am going to get going, though. Thank you. Uh, my back is starting to give me some grief. But like I said, I'm on the CBD oil now. Um, it has or is sort of helping me a little bit. Um, yeah, War Games was a great movie, actually. I liked it. Uh, no, no, my, my old movie lines. I, I know. I know where that came from, bro. I know that's where that came from. But anyway... Thank you guys, and I'm going to say it again. Game over. Until next time, a game over. And oh, wait, I didn't do my intro. I don't know which cam I'm supposed to do. Oh, wow. Top cam came up. That's weird. Um, desktop. Nope. Ah, nope. That's weird. I don't know why it went to a small section. Uh, right here. It's actually looking clearer, though. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching. Game over.